Moving on, we're getting in breaking news that the Pathan Court terror attacks could just cast a shadow over the India-Pakistan Foreign Secretary level talks. India is now likely to either postpone or reschedule the talks. The Foreign Secretary level engagement between the two countries was scheduled for the 14th to the 15th of January, but uh, it looks that it could not, uh, it will not rather happen. Top South Block officials have told our sister publication Mail Today on requesting anonymity that uh, going ahead with the talks uh, would be unlikely. India would want Pakistan to take some serious action first against, uh, you know, those terrorists who attacked the Pathan Court Air Force base. India will also want proof that Pakistan has acted on the voice and the DNA samples sent to Islamabad on the terror attack. So a big cloud of uncertainty that prevails over the foreign secretary level talks. Recently, we did see, you know, a slight thaw in the chilly diplomatic ties between the two nations. We saw the disaster, disastrously, uh, the disaster of the NSA level talks. Uh, that didn't really happen. But then, you know, of course, things did move on when the prime minister made a surprise visit to Lahore and did greet his counterpart. Nawaz Sharif on his birthday. There was a lot of uh, warmth and bonhomie as a result of that meeting. And then we had the Pathan Court terror strike at the Air Force base, which once again put a question mark on the relationship between India and Pakistan. And now there seems to be some uncertainty over the future of the Foreign Secretary level talks that was uh, to happen on the 14th and the 15th of January. Editor India Today, Shivaru, joins us for more. So, Shiv. Will the foreign secretary level talks go ahead as per schedule? What are you hearing from your sources? In just about 15 minutes from now, Avantika, we're going to get, uh, you know, 100% clarity on that uh, when Vikas Swaroop, uh, spokesperson for the uh, External Affairs Ministry, uh, actually clarifies on that million dollar question. Uh, remember, there's been a huge amount of pressure and speculation on the Modi government about precisely what its reaction is going to be vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan in the light of what happened in Pathan Court. Now, the sense we're getting, there are, there are lot, there's a lot of media speculation at this point of time over uh, the fact that the, the, the foreign secretary level talks could, uh, could be cancelled, could be scrapped. Uh, this is majorly because of what uh, GOTV's editor Hamid Mir has been actually saying and tweeting over the last 24 hours. Uh, and it is not rooted in anything uh, official as far as the Pakistan or the Indian government is concerned. But having said that, uh, we're, getting, we're getting the sense from our own reporters who are in touch with the, the, with the External Affairs Ministry as well as the Pakistan High Commission and their own sources in the government uh, who say that their sense is expect a postponement or a rescheduling uh, you know, of the Foreign Secretary level talks. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that India Today has already uh, you know, reported uh, in the light of what happened in Pathan Court. There was likely to be less of a priority placed uh, on the Foreign Secretary level talks actually taking place on schedule. The National Security Advisors uh, had also hinted uh, that the talks could be shifted uh, from, their, uh, from their actual date uh, to, uh, you know, by a few days, depending on what really happens. Mm. Uh, but all eyes will be on Vikas Swaroop of the External Affairs Ministry. And this will, uh, make no mistake, be the first question that will be put to him. This is going to be, uh, uh, this is going to be a, 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 a briefing by the External Affairs Ministry, their first briefing since the Pathan Court attack. And the major, the, the question above all else, will be what is the nature of the engagement that we will have with Pakistan? Will the foreign secretary level talks continue? Hmm. Will the modalities in terms of reference change? Will the complexion of the engagement uh, change? Or is it going to be something else entirely? Many, many very important questions. In Absolutely. just a few minutes from now, we're going to get a live clarification from the government. Of While Pakistan. we wait for that, you know, Shiv, we, we've all witnessed to the bitter collapse of the NSA level talks. We saw intense diplomatic acrimony. But this time around, surprisingly, we didn't really see discordant noises uh, from both sides, especially from India, about the Pathan Court terror attacks. Uh, you know, we didn't see anyone from the government uh, pointing fingers at Pakistan, despite mounting pressure uh, from their own allies. So what really is going to be the main demand uh, from the Indian government for the foreign secretary level talks to go ahead? Good question, Avantika. You know, remember that, uh, you know, uh, in the light of Prime Minister Modi's uh, handshake mm -hmm. and embrace with Nawaz Sharif, uh, you know, uh, uh, late last month on, the, on, on Christmas Day, in fact, in Lahore, uh, it, it has become very difficult for anyone within the government to actually demand a scrapping of talks or take a hard stance. Mm. You know, given the emotional warmth that uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, actually extended to his Pakistani counterpart in Lahore, it has become very difficult for anyone in the government, including the usual motor mouths and the hotheads, 
uh, you know, to take a very uh, aggressive stance as far as Pakistan is concerned. Mm. So that can be, uh, you know, I think that is quite understandable. Even the usual hotheads who are, you know, who, uh, who uh, you know, as a sort of knee-jerk reaction, say aggressive things about Pakistan, you know, call for scrapping of ties, including the opposition, that has not happened. So there appears to be a unanimity as far as engagement with Pakistan is concerned. Mm. But the, the real question is, whether it will take place right away on schedule because uh, let's uh, you know uh, if, if talks take place on schedule it means the government uh, you know uh, hasn't really been uh, the Patan court the Patan court uh, attack hasn't uh, you know shaken anything on the other hand uh, if it does postpone it it will be seen as consistent with what the government has done in the past when it scrapped foreign secretary level talks in the past as well mm -hmm. so at this point of time the, the it, it, there's a huge amount of diplomatic pressure uh, political pressure on the government to be seen to be doing uh, you know to, to doing the right thing at this point of time and not looking weak that's the most important mm -hmm. emotions are running high it's already an emotive issue as far as india is concerned uh, you know pakistan is clearly the aggressor uh, as far as Patan Court is concerned, and therefore the Modi government is in the spotlight right now. What is it going to do? What is its next move? Will it is rescheduling? Is rescheduling talks going to be enough? Are they going, are they going to be uh, able to extract enough assurances from Pakistan and actually yoke them to any talks going forward? What happened to no talks while bullets are flying, hmm. etc., etc.? So exactly. these are big questions. These are not about. This is not just about ceasefire violations. This is also about a major terror attack on Indian territory, on an Indian military installation, and the complexion, the atmosphere has completely changed, and that's why clarifications are necessary. Okay, Shiv, for now, thank you so much, and we, of course, uh, are waiting for, uh, you know, some sort of a response a statement or, uh, you know, a clarification from the Ministry of External Affairs uh, about uh, the uncertainty that uh, lies ahead of uh, for the foreign secretary level talks that is supposed to take place on the 14th and the 15th of January. What happens to those talks? We'll just have to wait and watch and, uh, you know, see an official statement from the ministry about the same. Up next, uh, we will be showing you...